Hi guys and welcome to another Android Studio tutorial and in this video we're going to not only create an app where you can play music we're also going to be able to uh, pause the music and stop it as well so quick demonstration so we play it we can stop and if I start again we can pause it and carry on from where we left off I'll show you how to go about doing all this so we get straight into it so I want to create a new project Can call this anything you want. My music. Um, using API 16. Just click next. Blank activity, and just use the defaults. Click on finish. Okay. What's all this loaded? I'm just going to switch. Click on the preview. And I'm just going to adjust these windows a little bit. Okay. And just to make this a bit tidier, I'm going to turn this into a linear layout and this view here I'm just going to delete it so okay so now I'm going to go into my design view I'm just going to quickly lay out some buttons create one there one there and one there just drag them out onto your screen go back into text view and I'm going to create change the name of this one I'm just going to call this play quickly call this one pause and call this one stop so there's our three buttons okay so I want to load up a music file so inside our resources folder just in here I'm going to right click on this resources folder go to new new Android resource directory and I want to create a raw folder which is where we're going to put all our or where we can put all our music files so I click on OK what you may need to do is you may need to just click on build and clean project and that will just run through and just clean up your folders for you so okay so I'm just going to pop a, a music file or, or any file media file into this raw folder so I'm going to open up my documents I'm going to go to music and I'm just going to grab this file here so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it into this folder I'm going to rename this folder I'm going to call it just going to call it zone click on OK and if we just click on there we can see there's our file called zone mp3 file so we've loaded into we've loaded in a, uh, an mp3 file what we want to do now is we want to create three functions or methods so when we click on each button it will perform a certain function and it will create those functions inside this this inside our java file here so we go back to our activity xml file and at the end there we're just going to enter a new line and we're going to start typing on click and there's our on click method so when we click basically when we click on the button it will execute this file let's execute this look for this attribute and execute whatever's in here so we're just going to type in play going to type play you can you can name it whatever you want but obviously for simplification just going to call it play and this little light bulb's come up so I'm going to click on this light bulb and it's going to I'm going to ask it to create a play uh, method in our main activity and it passes in a view so immediately it goes to our main activity java file and there's our play function so when we click on play it will execute anything inside these parentheses we're going to do the same for our pause so on click I'm going to call that pause there's a light bulb click on a light bulb create pause view and there's our pause function same again for our stop I'm just going to say on click I'm going to call it stop again look as I can call it whatever you want but I'm just going to call it stop just for just because it makes sense create stop so those are three functions play pause and stop okay now what we want to do now is we want to create a media player object which to, which to load our mp3 file into so right at the top here after our main activity I'm going to press enter a couple of times we're going to create a media player object there's media player enter and we're going to call it we're going to call it anything you want again I'm going to call it my sound so I've created a media sound a media player object called my sound now we're going to come back down here so when we press on our play button and when we press play we want it to load up an mp3 file into this object so we type my sound equals media player 
in dot and there's our functions we want to create create and it wants to pass in there's all these different constructors and we want this one here but the, the, the simple one it takes in a context and a resource ID so we want context is this because it's this activity and the file we want to load in is from a resources file and a raw folder so r dot raw dot and it's only and it automatically automatically looks for any files that it can use and it's ultimately found one called zone so we can just press zone or enter for zone and then we want to end that with a semicolon so we've loaded up our sound and my sound dot start Oops, so this one here and it will start playing now we can load this and we can run this but it will work but the problem is every time we press play every time we press this play button it's going to load up this that sound every time so you're going to get it's going to start it up and it's going to play it and play it again and play it again and it's going to sound all jumbled and mixed so every time we press play it's just going to keep keep creating instances of that sound it's not going to start again it just keep creating over and over and over again and, and it will sound horrible it will sound a complete mess so we want to be able to stop the sound so we go back to our java file and when we press stop we want to call up the my sound object and we want to release it now you think well why don't you press stop well, I'm not going to go into too much depth into what the difference between these two are but I'm just going to go release because it releases the sound so if we run this ok so if we press play press stop it stops the sound so if I press play and you don't want that so to stop that from happening we're going to have to do a, an, an if function to check that if the sound's actually playing or not so if the sound is playing we don't want it to create another another instance of that um, sound so we create an if function so if my sound equals null then to play the, the to, to to execute this function this um code here so open parentheses and close parentheses so if my sound is null so if you haven't got a sound playing it will load up the file and then play it if the sound is playing it won't do this at all so it'll just ignore the code so if we try that now if we load that file up now press play again it, does, it doesn't keep loading the sound up so, so we can stop it but if we press play again it won't restart the sound now that's because once you've started the sound it's no longer null so it'll ignore it ignore this when you press start when you press play again it'll ignore this and it won't play the sound because it thinks it's playing it so what we need to do is when we press stop is we need to release we're going to release the sound and we're going to make my sound equal null so if we press play again my sound will equal null and it will play the sound from the beginning so we try that there we go so it will start the sound every time we press play but if we press play it won't keep playing the sound so we can stop and start the sound now what we want to do is we want to be able to pause the sound when we play we want to be able to pause it and have it carry on where it left off so we go back into our code and in our pause we say my sound dot pause but what we need to do is we need to get the current position of this of the of the sound where you've stopped in order to do that we need to create an integer up here so we create an int and we just call it, we call it whatever you want, in this case I want to just call it paused and then down here I'm going to say paused equals my sound dot get current position so it's going to get the current position of where you stopped my sound, that your, your song from playing now again that in itself isn't enough because so, what we want to do is when we press play we want to play from the current position so what we need to do 
is if my sound equals null, which it won't be, because you you would have loaded the sound into your uh, my in, a lot of file into my sound, so my sound won't be null. So it will execute this file. So we go else if my sound equals null, which it won't be, then execute here. So we're going to create a little command here that says my sound dot seek to and it was going to seek to you want it to seek to this integer paused semicolon and then start the sound my sound dot start Well, let's try that. This, we're still going to get a problem here because I'll show you what will happen. Okay, so if we play, we pause, we play, it will actually, it's actually carrying on where it left off. But if we press play again, it will go back to the same point at which we paused it, which we don't want to do it. We want, we want to be able to press the play, play button and not actually do anything if it's playing. Well, that's into the song. We press play again. Going to go back to where I, when I originally pressed pause, so we don't want it to do that. So if the sound is playing, to ignore the pause button basically. So we need to put in an if again another if statement. If just after this um if this else statement, if we want to check to see if my sound isn't playing, so we need to do a not sign, which is the exclamation point. So if my sound and we go is playing so what's going to do is if basically that's saying if my sound isn't playing because we've got a not here so if my sound isn't playing then it can execute this this uh, this line of code so we'll check that out so we'll press play press pause and if I press play again, carry on. If I press play, it's just going to ignore it. And if I press pause again, and I carry on where it left off. So it plays, ignoring, doing exactly what we want it to do. Pause is doing exactly what we want it to do. And if we press stop and then play again, it'll start from the beginning. That's exactly what we want it to do. So there's not actually that much code there if you look at it. It's just this here. It's reasonably straightforward, and that's pretty much it. Like I said, don't forget to create your media player object and your um, integer paused uh, for when you pause your sound, so it can use, um, so it can carry on. All right, guys, thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing.